Hello everyone, welcome to Tubwes 730. We give information about AI's latest technological news. Please stay tuned and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Come, let us connect to the video and start exploring. Zachary Manchester, an assistant professor in the RI and the director of the Robotic Exploration Lab, described the experiment as huge. I don't believe balance beam walking with a robot has ever been done successfully before. Manchester and his crew overcame pre-existing limitations in the quadruped's design to enhance its balance abilities by utilizing equipment frequently used to manage satellites in space. Modern quadruped robots typically consist of a torso and four legs, each of which ends in a rounded foot. This arrangement enables the robot to move through simple, flat surfaces and even climb stairs. Although they have a four-legged appearance, quadruped robots lack the natural agility of animals like cheetahs, which can turn sharply with the aid of their tails, or falling cats, which can change their orientation in mid-air with the aid of their flexible spines. The robot can prevent toppling over as long as three of its feet are in contact with the ground. However, if only one or two feet are on the ground, the robot is far more likely to tumble because it is much harder for it to easily correct for disruptions. It is particularly challenging to walk on uneven ground because of this lack of balance. A quadruped robot's body and legs are disconnected and unable to communicate with one another to coordinate their movements, according to Manchester. So, how can we improve their balance? A reaction will actuate her. RWA, device mounted to the back of a quadruped robot is the team's proposed solution. The RWA enables the robot to balance independently of the placements of its feet thanks to a cutting-edge control method. RWAs are frequently employed in the aerospace sector to provide attitude control on satellites by adjusting the spacecraft's angular momentum. You basically have a big flywheel with a motor attached, said Manchester, who collaborated on the research with mechanical engineering graduate students Shua Yang and Benjamin Boxer as well as RI graduate student Qi Yen Li. The satellite spins the other way when the large flywheel is turned in one direction. Now take that and attach it to a robot quadruped's body. To offer control over the robot's angular momentum, the team prototyped their method by installing two RWAs on a commercial Unitree A1 robot, one on the pitch axis and one on the roll axis. The RWAs offer autonomous control of the body's orientation, so it makes no difference whether the robot's legs are in contact with the ground or not. Manchester said that because the hardware neither alters the robot's mass distribution nor imposes the joint restrictions of a tail or spine, it was simple to adapt an existing control system to take the RWAs into account. The hardware can be modeled like a gyrostat, an idealized model of a spaceship, and integrated into a common model predictive control method without having to take into consideration such limits. Through a series of effective trials, the researchers put their technology to the test and showed that the robot had improved unexpected impact resilience. In a simulation, scientists dropped the robot upside down from almost half a meter, simulating the famous falling cat problem. Thanks to the RWAs, the robot was able to reposition itself mid-air and land on its feet. In an experiment where the robot walked along a 6 cm wide balance beam, scientists demonstrated the system's ability to balance as well as the robot's capacity to recover from disturbances. Manchester believes that, like drones approximately 10 years ago, quadruped robots will soon go from being essentially research platforms in labs to being widely accessible commercial items. They could also be deployed in high-stakes situations like search and rescue in the future with continuous effort to improve quadruped robot stabilizing abilities to match the innate four-legged animals that served as their design inspiration. Quadrupeds are the next big thing in robots, claimed Manchester. In the upcoming years, I think you're going to see a lot more of them in the wild. Click the link down in the description, how quadruped robots walk in a balance beam. Please do like, comment and subscribe.